Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Rampage. Welcome to Alien Isolation Part 6. Hope you enjoy. You are entering a restricted area. Shut your face. Let me in. I need to contact my <clears throat> ship. Be another way inside. Use. <laughs> wow. Come on, let me use it. Let me see. Charge pack, whatever that is. Oh. Hmm. Should we have to go this way? Maintenance. supposed to do. <laughs> Hacking, so easy, brah. One of these days, it's gonna be in one of the vents. Let me pass. It's me, Hughes. Don't you <coughs> recognize me? Listen to me. We've got to re-establish long-range communications. You're becoming hysterical. Get back! I'm warning you. Tut, tut. This is all this Tut, tut. What? Ah, oh, fuck. That would hurt. Good day. You just fucking smashed his brains out. What the fuck? Why are the robots hostile now? What the fuck? That doesn't make any sense at all. Oh, I guess so. Why does dust keep coming out? Shut your face. Come on. Shut up. Survival horror. Best alien experience ever. Central Communications Hub seeks an employee. Contact Verlaine. Okay, so I ended up having to repeat this section simply because when my hard drive died, obviously, because my Steam was on there, it because for some reason this game decided that it wants to actually add the save data to the fucking um, Steam users data. So yeah, when I kind of deleted the Steam folder, that went, just went with it. So. <sighs> Not fun at all. Find an alternate. Okay. What? How did you? F I. Like, I, I still don't even understand why there's these robots are trying to kill you. Like, it makes no fucking sense. Uh, 
Like, I understand in the first movie, right, they have, uh, I think it was the, the medic or whatever that went all crazy and he's a robot and shit. This is supposed to be, what, eight years after that event? They wouldn't think that the robots would still be retarded. Like, the only reason why this is fucking annoying is because they kill you so quickly. Like, look at this. Hold on. See what I mean? <laughs> like, if I didn't have a quarter health, they basically would have just completely fucked me over. Current save. <sighs> and another thing that I did notice with the, um... With the storyline, I've got some notes. <laughs> the year for the first movie was 2122, then Alien Isolation, which is a game, is 2137. So, somehow, the uh, if you haven't seen the first movie, the, in the first movie, the Nostromo, which is the ship that they refer to in this, in this game, got extremely blown up, right? And somehow, the recorder is somehow here? That doesn't make any sense at all. They don't know that it, the ship was exploded or anything like that. They don't know where the ship is. That's beside the point. What I think is going on is that Wayland Utani, the company, is, oh, is trying to somehow either sabotage me into like getting or trying to bring back some like DNA of the alien itself or try and bring back the alien or they are just trying to basically kill me please don't come this way Are they in there? Contact with Elaine. Okay. <coughs> Fucking hell. Like, these fuckers have, like, the best hearing ever. This is ridiculous. That guy's coming? Or was that the one that was following me a second ago? No idea. Really? Somehow he fucking still heard. What if I just run all the way there? Hello? Is anyone there? If anyone can hear this, we need help. Repeat. Like, I still don't understand why the robots are still after me. Like, why? Why? What's, what's the point? <laughs> like, there's just so many of them. Like, if I didn't stealth past the first two, there was at least Where another two or three We're at after them. Station now. It's right by medical. Okay. And they take ages Samuels, to die. Samuels, listen to me. It's not safe here. Siegson's got this place locked tight. Their goddamn androids are killing people. Yeah. That's impossible. It's contrary to primary synthetic programming. I've seen it, Samuels. I guess Siegson's got a different idea about synthetics. And there's something else here. A creature. It's big and it's lethal. Ripley, slow down. A creature. It's a life form. A, an unknown type. Some kind of alien organism. It's extremely dangerous. You and Taylor Ripley, need to make. Taylor is hurt. She was injured by debris during the crossing. Oh God. How bad? I can't move her. I need medical supplies. We need to treat and pack the. And injury. the Torrens? The radio is broken. I can't contact Verlaine. We're on our own. Shit. <laughs> okay. The I'll radio is broken somehow. I'll send a transit card here. Save. Save, slot. Now all of those fucking androids are gonna come here so I have to, like, somehow get out. Fuck. So if 
I say bit. can't like follow me in the vents. That'd, that'd be the most creepiest thing ever. Not gonna lie. <laughs> oh shit, I didn't get the EMP thing. I'll go back and get it. There, you bastard. What in the flying Um Why can't I see at the moment? Oh, there's the MP. To go in or not? <laughs> wow! Some of the mechanics are just like, oh, you want to go through here? Wait a few moments. Spam the button. Like, <sighs> it's just why. <laughs> And I didn't even personally. I didn't even see that fucking guy there. Like, did you? Did, was it? Was he there for a while? Like, I, I did not even see that there was a fucking guy there. Let's see if he's there now. Mr. Fucking Robot, are you at the door? See, because I can't see him. Apparently, he might still be there. I now that works, but okay. Can't use any new Tarnish. But yeah, what I think is going on is that Wayland Yutani is I don't know, somehow like either forcing Amanda Ripley, I think that's the name. To find the alien. But, yeah, I, I still don't really understand why somehow they thought that the, the the flight recorder was somehow here. Like, that doesn't really make any sense, because they didn't know where where the ship was anyway, so, you know. <laughs> How could they assume that the, the Nostromo's uh, flight recorder was over here? I mean, that doesn't make any sense. And we've already noticed that there's another thing that doesn't really make sense, and that was not having a two-way radio when they were leaving a spaceship. Uh, <laughs> that doesn't really make any sense at all either, Mr. Robot. Like, are you just going to stand there and be a pain in my asshole? Okay, so you're just going to stand there, eh? Oh, you grabbed me. Fuck off. So now where are we going? Observation dark. So we need to go this way and then left. Shut up. Shut up. Don't care. Nope. Nope. Oh, bullshit. 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 Oh, there's three of them! Four of them! Lick your dick! What the fuck? Why? Why is there so many of them? Seriously. Like, most fucking ships like the Nostromo only had one bastard robot. You know? 
Like, why does this ship be so special and have like 20 million of them? Someone care to explain? Bing! Bitch. Uh, oh, fuck. We're not even going the right spot. Wait, return to. Yeah. I think we're going the right way. I don't. Which one's us? This one? Let's put that one. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't know! Um. Um, okay, so that's where we are. Okay, yep, we're going the right way. Good. Oh, fuck, that's where that guy died. Uh, yep, this way. Where was that robot? He was in there, right? I don't know. Uh, like, this... The game is based around... You're trying to avoid fucking those robots, and then like, that's basically it. You're trying to defend yourself from those robots. The the alien only saw it once. <laughs> um, the map design is a bit strange to actually understand. Like, what the fuck? This way. Okay. And Like so far, the only thing that's fucking scared me is those bloody robots right, right in front of your face. Like I don't know how horror elementy this game will get, um, but so far it's been what two hours, nearly three hours worth of gameplay where I'm just running around doing fuck all, you know. Like, can I stealth kill these these fuckers from behind, or like, like you would think being being able to smack them over the face a couple times would would like not I don't know what I'm trying to say, but not have them like react straight away. I don't know. Um, hello. Oh god. Something opened over there. I don't know what it was. Mr. Robot. Do not to turn around. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. Like, this game is a stealth game, obviously. But they give you weapons, but the weapons are basically useless because the fucking enemies are so strong and you can't kill the, the alien. So, what is the actual point, really, <laughs> if you think about it? You may as well just give me, like, nothing, because that's, that's essentially how useless so, uh, the weapons are. Fucking hell, when did you get there, mate? Please, would you kindly... Do they know where I am? I don't know. Which way are we going? Left, okay. This is a Okay, didn't see me Maybe this robot might. Nope, okay good. <clears throat> It's okay. <clears throat> it's okay when they're like doing their own sort of uh, pre-scripted routes, but when they've found you, they just like do not stop ever. He's seen me, but he's not coming this way. Not too sure why. 
There's this one there. Not too sure if this guy up here actually has like a scripted pathway because he's not really doing anything. Would you fuck off, mate? We don't forget the little details when seeing the big picture. This could require my attention. Smart for you, fucking robot, mate. <laughs> so we're going in that way, then turn right. Okay, right, and then left. Uh, no idea what we're doing this for. Return through section comms to escape. Okay. <laughs> Close, bitches. Get to Lorenz. Sistech something or other. Like, I'm not really too sure what to think about this game because it hasn't really had a story per se. Basically, it's like, oh, Ripley, you can go to this fucking spaceship thing that might have information about your mother. Okay, we get there. Find an alien. Fucking mad story, bruh. <gasps> Whoa, that thing is fucking fast! <laughs> what? Why is it so fast? <laughs> 